Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking this three pound ball peen hammer and I'm gonna be turning it into something a lot more useful for myself. So I'm gonna be dressing this hammer face. Now, this face has already been dressed for proper hammer work. If you're doing some forging at the forge, I did that as soon as I had bought it from a yard sale. I picked this hammer up, oh, I don't know, eight years ago, I think, probably at a garage sale and you know, I don't think I paid over two bucks for it. So, you know, pretty substantial size ball peen hammer. They're definitely a rarity, um, but it has been sitting on my shelf and not getting used ever since just because I've used and favored other hammers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn this into something that is a little bit more useful to me in the forge. So sometimes you'll need to do this with multiple hammers. The best way to do this is instead of making a brand new hammer or having to forge one all out by yourself, is just to get an old hammer like this and dress the face to the proper curvature that you need in your shop. Again, these are specialty hammers. I do not use these hammers all the time. They are only when I need a special hammer. So I've already done it to this one and that's helped out with some work. Now I need to take and do it with this much larger hammer as well. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Um, do not be afraid to do this to hammers that are in your shop. Obviously, if it is some sort of special, super rare hammer that everyone is going to miss if it gets lost to the annals of history by becoming more useful to you, uh, obviously don't dress up an old tool like that if you can help it. But if it's in your shop and it needs to be making you some money, um, and make you more productive, like most of all of my tools in my shop are meant to do, then don't be afraid to take and dress your tools to the work that is suited. So I'm gonna get right into grinding here, and then um, you know I'll be back with you after we get this first stage done. The very first stage, we're gonna put about a 45 degree chamfer all the way around. Okay, so there we go. We've got this nice uh, 45 degree chamfer all the way around the hammer itself. Um, and what this does is this helps set us up for our curvature. Now, just like in forging where we take and we turn something from square to octagon and eventually to round, that's exactly what we're going to be doing with this. We are going to be alleviating that now that bevel, that top edge of that bevel, heading to the center of the hammer. And we're gonna do this several times until we get a nice, even, progressive radius into this piece. We don't need a crazy, big, domed piece. We don't wanna have a ball, a giant ball on this end. We wanna have a nice curvature to it. Um, again, you will have to adjust this to your own eyes, but generally, this is the way that you want to do it, so this way you can do it progressively, and your steps are just nice and incremental to get that nice even curvature in all four dimensions here, or all three dimensionals, okay? All the way around, it's all the same curvature. So let's get back at it.
Okay, so there you have it. Um, so that's taken off that next stage, and now basically we're, joining, we're just going to keep doing that. If you need a much steeper or a much more domed effect, if you need this to be a lot more domed, then you just cut down your side walls a little higher, the edges that you start with. You bevel them more and then continue to go through those steps. So now I'm at this point now that I can create a really nice radius to center. Again, I need the broadness of this. I don't need it to be a ball peen. So I just need it to have a really nice broad radius to it. And so that's what we're gonna do. And in order to do that, we're actually gonna work in the slack of the belt here, just right between where the platen, right where the platen in that wheel, um, you know, the bottom wheel of the platen, these wheels, those, I don't know what you call them. Anyways, we're gonna work in just that because that's gonna give us a nice little radius. It's gonna arc as soon as we press into it and it's like slack belting and so therefore it will create a really nice smooth radius and get everything to one nice even finish. So let's do that now. Okay, so we're getting there. I don't have to make you guys watch this whole, uh, this whole thing, this whole video, just because it's just more of the same, right? Um, but that's it for today. That's basically what I'm doing for this. Be looking for this hammer in upcoming videos. Uh, I have quite a few projects that'll be using this. And of course I need to rehaft it with a new handle but that's another story for a different day. So I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, share it around with your friends. Hit that like and all that other stuff. Comment what you thought down below. And as always, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.